Hello! Welcome to the Totally English YouTube channel. Allez, on est parti pour la semaine 8, week 8 of the videos. Aujourd'hui, euh, c'est pour les grandes primaires, donc euh, les 8 à 11 ans, les CE2 à CM2. Euh, un petit peu différent aujourd'hui, on va faire euh, les arts plastiques. On va juste faire une petite activité d'art plastique, tout simple. Il euh, n'y a pas de routine, il n'y a pas tout ça, donc euh, voilà. Donc je vais vous expliquer de quoi vous allez avoir besoin. Après, vous pouvez mettre la vidéo sur pause, préparer les affaires et c'est parti. On n'a pas besoin de grand chose, c'est les arts plastiques assez simples, ok? It's simple today. Arts and crafts. N'oubliez pas les arts plastiques in English, arts and crafts. So, today... Vous allez avoir besoin. You will need. Uh, you will need again some paper. Some paper. Uh, it can be white paper. Ça peut être des papiers blancs. It can be white paper. We're going to need um, five pieces of paper. Cinq morceaux de papier. Donc vous pouvez mélanger les couleurs ou comme j'ai dit, vous pouvez le faire en blanc. Il n'y a aucun problème. Ok. So we, si vous prenez une page A4, vous allez avoir besoin peut-être de deux pages A4 maximum, c'est tout. Uh, you're going to see why, vous allez voir pourquoi. So you need five pieces of paper, five pieces of paper. Um, a cup or a, a glass to draw around. En fait, on va utiliser ça pour faire le, le cercle. Si vous ne voulez pas faire comme ça, vous pouvez bien sûr faire avec un compas. There's no problem. I'm taking the easy option. Je vais prendre l'option facile. I'm going to just draw around this. Okay, we're going to use this for the shape. Ça va être notre cercle. Voilà. Uh, afterwards, you will need some glue. Glue, glue, glue. You will need a pencil. Uh, you will need some scissors. Okay, scissors. And you will need a toothpick. Okay, a toothpick. En français, un cure-dent. A toothpick. OK? Just one toothpick. And the last thing, the dernière chose dont vous allez avoir besoin, is a piece of string or wool. Donc, de la ficelle, de la laine. Uh, in fact, it's just to hang. On va juste attacher notre petit art plastique là-dessus. OK? So, prepare all those things. Et puis après, je vais vous montrer ce qu'on va faire. Ok, so don't forget, put the video on pause, mettre la vidéo sur pause, comme ça vous pouvez préparer tous les affaires. Before we start, before we start, avant, before we start, uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Uh, so, I've chosen the theme, j'ai choisi un petit thème, I chose the weather today as the theme, the weather. So the weather, what's the weather? Le météo, voilà, le météo. So we're going to talk about the weather, and at the moment the weather it's a bit, um, it's a bit like this. It's sunny, and then uh, mm. so we're going to talk about the rain, the rain, and we're going to make something that you need when it rains. On va fabriquer quelque chose dont vous avez besoin quand il pleut. Yeah, when it rains. So for the rain, what do you need? What do you need? Yeah, maybe boots. Yeah, maybe a pair of boots, uh, maybe a hat, or maybe a coat with a hood, yeah, maybe. Or maybe simply a un parapluie, yeah, in French, yeah, un parapluie. In English, we say an umbrella, yeah, an umbrella, umbrella, okay. And we're going to make an umbrella. Uh, that you can hang maybe in your bedroom or at home, okay? It's like a decoration, c'est comme un déco, voilà. So we're going to make an umbrella a bit like this, okay? Yeah? Uh, I've made a bigger one, ceci c'est plus grande que ce qu'on va faire, on va faire un peu plus petit, okay? Um, so basically, yeah, it's the paper, here's the string that we talked about. You're going to use a toothpick, là c'est un peu plus grand, mais... Ce qu'on va faire, un toothpick, un cure-dent, ça va suffire largement. So we're going to make an umbrella, ok? Ok, let's get ready. Ok, so let's start. So like we said, we need some paper. I've chosen different colors, ok? 
something to draw around, an object qui est ronde qu'on peut utiliser pour euh, dessiner autour. Uh, some glue, some scissors, a pencil, a toothpick, and some string or wool. Donc de la ficelle ou de la laine. Well, okay, something that we can use to hang. Okay, so let's get started. So with our paper, we're going to take our round object and our pencil. I'm going to start with the yellow, okay? And I'm going to use my cup, I'm going to have to do it here. I'm going to use my cup to draw around, like this, to draw a circle, okay? So I've got one circle and I need five, I need five five circles. So I'm going to do one yellow, I'm going to do one blue, I'm going to do another one in green. Donc vous allez voir, vous allez voir, vous n'avez pas besoin de beaucoup de papier en fait, hein, parce que c'est des petites cercles. So three, I'm going to use this blue, this yellow, sorry, je vais utiliser le jaune un peu clair. Make sure I've got enough room. Donc ça, c'est les, les petits restes de papier que j'avais, euh, que, je, que je finis. Comme ça, je jette euh, un minimum. J'aime pas euh, jeter du papier. So four. And then I'm going to do another blue one. So that will make me five circles. Okay? So five circles. Like I said before, you can do five white circles. Vous pouvez faire tout en blanc. And then maybe decorate the umbrella afterwards. Vous pouvez les décorer, le parapluie, euh, avec des feutres, ou même le décorer après avec des paillettes, ou ce que vous avez à la maison. OK? So next, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out the circles. So we're going to cut the circles. Alors, take your time. Prenez votre temps. A little, a little help for you. En fait, c'est un petit conseil, ok? So a little tip in English. In conseil, we say a tip. Don't move your scissors. Les ciseaux, ils ne bougent pas. They don't move, ok? I'm just closing them very slowly. J'appuie très doucement. And I'm turning the paper, ok? Donc, je tourne pas cette main-là. The hand with the scissors, it doesn't move. Ça ne bouge pas. But the hand with the paper, it does. So it's this hand here. Uh, which is doing the work. Hein? Donc c'est ces mains-là qui est en train de tourner les papiers pour que je fasse un très joli cercle. Voilà. And so I do it very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Very slowly. I keep turning the paper. Turning the paper. And then I've got a nice circle. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five circles okay so when you got your five circles one by one un par un, we're going to fold them in half like this okay and then we're going to fold them in half again so we're going to finish with a little uh, triangles yeah so i'm going to do the same with all five circles fold in half and in half again. Alors, in half, ça veut dire en deux, ok? Uh, à moitié, en fait. Half, c'est à moitié. So, I'm folding it in half. So, to fold, ça veut dire plier. So, fold in half and in half again. À moitié et à moitié encore, ok? And I'm going to do that with all five circles. Alors, si je vais trop vite, ne vous oubliez pas, N'oubliez pas, pardon, que vous pouvez euh, mettre la vidéo sous pause. Uh, that's the advantage of these videos. Okay, so I've got five circles that I folded in half and in half again. And it gives me uh, five uh, kind of like triangles, yeah? Okay. Next, we're going to take the glue. The glue, 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 glue. And we're going to glue 
the two halves together. So we're going to glue here and close. Voila. And if you see, uh, so on this side, the rounded side, uh, we can see that we've got two little holes here. On a deux petits trous. On a collé au milieu, so we stuck it in the middle. But here we've got like two little holes. Donc tous les morceaux, ils doivent ressembler à ça. Okay, they need to look like this. So I folded them in half, in half again, and then I glued here in the middle. And it will leave the openings here. Ça va laisser deux petites ouvertures là. Okay? We're going to do that with all five. Okay. So we did one. This one is number two. Glue and stick. Number three. Glue and stick. And four. Glue and stick. And number five, glue and stick. Okay, so I've got my five little triangles that are all stuck together. Alors là, il faut regarder bien. Now we need to look carefully at what I'm going to do. So if you can see, this is where I glued them together. They're glued together here, okay? So you can see this is the fold, this is the, the bit that is glued together here. And this is the fold, ici c'est la pli, okay? We want to use this side here, okay? We're going to use this side where we can see the two, the two pieces of paper glued together. On voit les deux collés ensemble. Donc, il faut qu'on concentre sur ce côté ici. And we need to put them all with this at the bottom. So this is my, this is my fold here. And I'm going to put some glue on here, glue, and I'm going to stick them all the same way. Donc je veux toujours que cette pli, euh, pardon, que ce côté qu'on a collé ici, je veux toujours que ce soit en bas, at the bottom here, okay? They all have to be the same way. Il faut qu'ils soient tous dans le même sens, okay? So I'm just going to stick one on top of the other. Je vais juste coller un sur l'autre. So I've got one, two. Again, this is my fold, my, uh, the side where I've stuck here. So I'm going to put that at the bottom like the others. So one, two, three. Glue again. This is going to be number four. So again, the fold at the bottom. Uh, sorry, the two sides that are stuck at the bottom. So they do kotiki some koli, sorry. At the bottom again. So glue and stick. And the last one, so again glue, 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 glue. And again, uh, the two sides that are stuck together, you see some collie ensemble, and this goes at the bottom. Comme ça, ils sont tous dans le même sens. And we stick, okay? We're going to leave this to one side. On va les laisser à côté, we're going to leave it to dry. On veut que la colle est bien sec et tout que tout soit bien collé. We need it to be stuck really well, okay? So that we can, then we're going to open all these. Mais il faut que la colle soit bien prise, okay? While we're waiting for that, we're going to take our toothpick, a toothpick, and our string, okay? Our string, our wool, donc une ficelle, la laine, ce que vous avez à la maison. And we're going to make a knot. Alors, this is the little complicated bit. We're going to try to make a knot around the toothpick. Parce qu'on veut que ça s'attache plus ou moins au cure dent. So I'm going to do one, oops, one knot. Put it really tight. Serré. Okay, tight. And two. A little bit fiddly. Two knots and again pull it really tight. On veut que ce soit bien serré. And we're just going to move that up the toothpick like this. Vous allez voir pourquoi après. Okay? So this as well we can put to one side. Okay. Uh, we're going to try 
Pour to make sure that it's really well stuck. Pour être sûr que c'est très très bien collé tout ça. We're going to count to 30 together. Ok, on va compter jusqu'à 30 in English together. Are you ready? Ok, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, good, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, I think it should be dry by now. Je crois que ça va être sec. Okay, dry in English, we say to be dry. So, this is the complicated part. Ça, c'est où ça se complique. Because we're going to try to undo all these so that they open like this. Donc, en fait, ça va se décoller un petit peu en bas, mais c'est pas grave. Ça, c'est pas grave. C'est ça qu'on veut qu'il se passe, OK? So, we're going to just pull very gently. Il ne faut pas qu'on tire trop. Donc, on, on les sépare très gentiment. We want to keep them stuck together at the top. On veut que bien qu'ils restent collés bien en haut. But at the bottom, we can kind of unstick them a little. On peut les décoller ici un petit peu, OK? So, we just do that gently pour qu'on ne déchire pas le papier. Et aussi... Euh on, on décolle pas les parties qu'on veut rester collées. So that's why I said this is the part that's a little bit difficult. Ça c'est le parti qui est un petit peu difficile. So this is the bottom. Ça va être le bas de la parapluie. So as you can see, you see, I'm just pulling it very, very gently, like that. I'm gonna do that on all the pieces. So here as well, I'm gonna just pull it very, very gently. Je tiens ici avec mes doigts pour que ça se décolle pas. I'm just going to pull it very, very gently here as well, up. We don't want the paper to rip. On ne veut pas que le papier déchire. So again, very gently, very gently. And the last one is the blue one here. So again, I'm going to hold it together. Je ne veux pas que ça se défait non plus. Je veux juste décoller ici en bas. I just want to undo, unstick at the bottom. Can you see? Yeah? Cool. Okay, so now we should have something. This is the bottom, donc ça c'est le bas du parapluie. And this is the top. Yeah, can you see? It's good, huh? nice. Okay, so now, before we stick, avant qu'on colle ici, we're going to take our glue. We're going to take our glue. I'm just going to fold that back up again. We're going to take our glue. We're going to put a good dose of glue in the middle. On va mettre un bon petit paquet de colle ici au milieu. Okay, it's going to take a little while to dry. Le plus de colle qu'on mette, le plus longtemps que ça va mettre à sécher. Donc après, il va falloir pas le toucher. Il va falloir le laisser bien sécher. So your toothpick with your string. And, so if you see here, on voit que ça c'est le côté qui est, qui est arrondi. Okay, it's rounded here. So this is going to be the top of the umbrella. Ça c'est l'eau de le parapluie. That's the bottom, okay? Where it's flat, this is the bottom. And where it's curved here, this is the top. So the bottom, le bas, and the top, l'eau, okay? So we want our string to come out of the top. On veut que notre ficelle, il sort dans l'eau. So I'm going to put my toothpick here like this. Okay, we want to leave some length at the bottom. On va laisser un peu de place en bas. Um, I'm going to try to hold that into place. C'est encore un peu, c'est un petit peu compliqué. I said we'd finish with the glue, but we haven't. Tu dis qu'on avait fini, mais on n'a pas fini. <laughs> so we're going to take the glue again. We're going to put the glue here. Et là, vous imaginez ce qu'on va faire. Yeah, we're going to stick it all together. So with the toothpick in place, 
we're going to close these two sides and we're going to again being very very careful il faut qu'on fasse très attention parce qu'on veut pas que ça déchire and we're going to just stick together here okay just like this try to make that so it's in the middle voilà and we're just going to hold that in place like that on va le tenir le temps que le, la colle se sèche so again we could count i think we can count to 20 this time je crois qu'on peut compter jusqu'à 20 cette fois are you ready to count okay let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Yeah, I think it should be okay now. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's cool. So there is your umbrella. So your umbrella, yeah? That's nice, yeah? Cool. Well, I hope you're happy with your umbrella. J'espère que les vôtres, c'était pas trop compliqué. Il faut juste avoir un peu de patience toujours avec les arts plastiques. Always have to be patient. Okay, so you could make several. Hein? Vous pouvez faire plusieurs. Peut-être les accrocher dans la chambre ou, ou ailleurs. Uh, even, uh, even as a decoration for the table. Hein? Même pour, comme une petite décoration pour la table. C'est pas mal. Mettre des petites choses là-dedans. Okay, yeah. Okay, so don't forget to show me. I would like to see these. J'aimerais bien voir les vôtres. So you can send me the pictures. Yeah, uh, on the addresses that are in the comments box, il y a les adresses sur, le, sur les commentaires en bas. So you could send me uh, your umbrellas, your umbrellas, so I can see, yeah? Very good, good job, guys. Okay, it was a short lesson today. C'était une petite vidéo, un petit cours aujourd'hui. Uh, je sais qu'il y en a beaucoup qui ont tourné à l'école, donc comme ça, ça vous laisse le temps à, à faire autre chose. Um, there will be another video next week. Il y aura notre vidéo la semaine prochaine, bien sûr. Uh, so I'm going to say it's time for me to go. Uh, stay safe. Restez en sécurité. Prenez soin de vous. And I will see you next week. Yeah, okay.